Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I can't believe that you're not alone. Happy as hell ain't done moved on. But he's a banker down in Austin. I thought you all was hidden. Subscribe before we go any further. Join the fam. I am new to YouTube. I am new to making videos, but I do enjoy it and it's something that I will be posting weekly. Well, as you can tell by the title of this video, it's going to be what I carry in my carry-on whenever I'm traveling. My carry-on always stays the same. I just got back from Chicago and I'm traveling to Florida in two days. So my carry-on pretty much has stayed packed the same way it was in Chicago. And it pretty much stays the same throughout every airplane ride. So let's just get right into this video. So first things first, I've tried different carry-ons before. I've tried like the rolling ones. I've tried the tote bags. And my favorite by far is just a backpack. Your hands are free. It's easier to carry around. And honestly, I feel like backpacks are so, so cute. I got this one from Target. I think it was like 30 bucks. I don't know, but it's been my best friend. So I just flip this thing and pull these little tabs and it just opens right on up. First thing that's in my carry-on is my laptop. I don't go anywhere without my laptop. It helps me like edit YouTube videos. Since I still am in college, I can, you know, easily get to all my assignments and it's just something I just don't leave without. And so whenever you take your laptop, you need your laptop charger. This is just the one that it gets plugged into the wall. I really want to invest in one where you don't need the wall plug. It's kind of like a portable charger for your laptop. I honestly just found out about it yesterday. So I'm really, I'm gonna go um, pick one of those up soon. You can't leave with your laptop and not go without your charger because then what are you gonna do? And then you gotta pay for a whole new charger while you're there and Mac macbook chargers are not cheap like they're they're really not so don't forget your charger okay so the next thing i keep in my carry-on is i always come with two pairs of headphones i come with these ones that have the plug for like a laptop because if i'm editing like videos i want to be able to hear my videos and i can't hear the the standard headphones for iphone so i bring these ones and then another set of headphones I bring are the standard Apple ones, but these are for my phone so that I can listen to music. I guess sometimes I bring three headphones because sometimes I'll also bring my Beats, which are, which are Bluetooth, which are very, very nice and comfortable and make life so much easier. So sometimes I do bring my Beats. The next thing I bring is, this is very important. Well, obviously I bring my cell phone. For cell phone, you need a charger for your cell phone. And I have a designated carry-on iPhone charger because I've heard, this hasn't happened to me, but I've heard so many horror stories where people forget their chargers for their phone and then they have to buy one at the airport because you can't go without a charger. You need your phone for everything. Most people put their boarding pass on their phone these days. You need your phone for whenever you are landing and whoever's picking you up, taxi, Uber, friend, whoever, you need your phone to be charged. I designate my iPhone charger into my bag so that I never forget it because airports charge you out of the wall zoo for phone chargers. It's such a ripoff, but they do. And because they know that you forgot your charger and you have to have a charger, they know you're gonna spend that money that 40 bucks to pay for that charger and it's absolutely ridiculous. So honestly, the best thing you can do for yourself, if you don't have an extra charger laying around the house, go out and buy one because it's gonna save you so much time, so much money. If you travel a lot, I mean, it, the, this is like the number one thing you should do is invest in another charger where you can stick it in your carry-on and never, ever, ever forget it. Next thing I bring is, it's this little pineapple, um, phone portable phone charger honestly like when I'm walking around I, I pretty much wherever I'm traveling I'll walk around with my backpack and I'll like hook it onto my backpack and um, if my phone's about to die I'll charge my phone with it and it charges my phone really really fast I think a portable charger for your phone is a very like really good investment it comes with a charger obviously don't forget your chargers 
So if I do not feel like editing YouTube videos or if I don't feel like reading a portable book on my phone or whatever, I will bring a journal. I love to journal. So I'll write just whatever in my journal. Just a fun little thing to pass the time. Uh, next thing I bring is some sunglasses. Usually most of the time when I'm traveling, I always forget sunglasses. I don't know why. I don't know why that's a thing. But I always forget sunglasses. So I just keep some sunglasses in my carry-on so that I don't ever forget them. Uh, next thing I bring is, is my vlog camera. I always bring my vlog camera because wherever I'm traveling to, I like to vlog the whole thing. And then obviously it comes with a charger to charge the battery in your The next thing I bring is a snack. Yeah, your girl loves food, so I always bring me a little snack just in case I get hungry. I also bring extra hair ties because you never know when you're going to need them. The last thing I bring are some tampons. I'm not going to keep them held up to the camera because if you're a guy and you're watching this, that's kind of uncomfortable. But I always bring tampons because, you know, I'm a female. But if I'm traveling and it happens, I want to be prepared. Well, that was my video about all my travel essentials that are in my carry-on. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it and if you did learn something new and if I did help you in any kind of way, even if I didn't help you in any kind of way, just be a doll and give my video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and I post new videos every week. So just keep your eyes on the lookout for that. Um, hit the bell so you can always see when I post new videos because like I said, I don't have a set schedule so when you hit that bell and you get a notification you know that i posted a new video so thank y'all so much for watching my video and i will see y'all in the next video bye i can't believe that you're not alone happy as hell ain't done moved on